So, I grew up in South Philly. I grew up in a little Irish Catholic neighborhood. And in Philly, I mean, you live in these little row homes. And three blocks from my neighborhood is all black. Three blocks from there is all Italian. And then three blocks from there will be all Cambodian. And you'll be walking, and you just... You don't even know it. You're just walking. You're like, bam, I'm a black neighborhood. What the fuck? You know, you got to get back out because that's how we live. We live. We don't go in each other's neighborhoods as kids. It's unsafe to do these things. And you're taught generation through generation. Don't go into the Italian neighborhood. Don't go into the other. I mean, even other white neighborhoods. You don't even go into the upper Irish neighborhoods. We just keep to ourselves, right? But we all go to school together. So look, my mom, my mom, the rebel from her family, her Irish family, she went out. Now, this is in the 70s. <coughs> My mom, the rebel from her family, she went out and she had sex with a dago, right? And that was the big taboo. You don't do that. See, because Rocky Balboa was big back then, right? So my mom liked that bad boy, Rocky Balboa. So she goes and she finds my dad, who fits the stereotype at the time. He was a drug dealer, hung out in the streets, fist fought everybody. He was a badass little Italian dude. My mom liked that, right? So she gets together and... Uh, my mom was buying drugs off and whatever, I don't know the whole deal. My dad always jokes with me, he said he just should have fronted her and got her out of there. But instead he had relations with her and I came to be. So now my mom and my dad, they try to make this thing work. And we live in a, a, a mixed section of the city. And I'm born with the name Francis Bertolini. So I'm definitely Italian. My mom leaves my dad, goes back to the Irish neighborhood. Because she can't deal with those two can't get sober together. They're too busy doing heroin, whatever else they were doing at the time. So she moves back to the Irish neighborhood and changes my last name. She takes away the Italian part because you don't want to grow up in an Irish neighborhood with an Italian last name. So she gives me Mink. Mink isn't even fucking Irish. <laughs> as long as it wasn't Italian, I was okay. So that's how it was. So look, my mom is this, uh, she tries to make it on her own. Uh, we try to do this thing, and my mom. She, she was a good woman. She really was. And um, I can remember being as a kid, and maybe some of you don't ever have the experience, but we were on welfare sometimes. And I remember, and see, nowadays, if when you're on welfare, you get a little, little credit card. No one knows the fucking difference. You just go and you swipe the credit card, take the food. When I was on welfare, they gave you a booklet of me on covered fucking money that screams, look at me, I'm poor. Right? So you go into the store every time you have this booklet of me on colored money, screaming, fucking poor kid. And I stand there, and I'm about to buy all the food, and I'm about to pull out the food stamps, and who comes in the store but the hottest girl in my neighborhood? And you don't pull out food stamps in front of girls, you know? So I, I would go, oh, you first, you first. Chivalry ain't dead when you're fucking poor. <laughs>
I love that. Why wouldn't, for the last four years of my life, I feared everything. I feared going to school. I feared coming home from school. I feared going to my house. I feared if my dad was going to have food at the house. I feared all this shit. I feared everything as a 14-year-old kid, and now someone fears me, and I love Slept with one of their guys and we hated each other. Now she's sleeping with the Connecticut skinheads and now we're all friends. <laughs> so, we're all hanging out and I'm sitting on this little couch and I'm being kind of quiet, just thinking about things and thinking about my daughter and this big fucking Nazi skinhead from, uh, from New York keeps going up. There's no Italians ain't white. Now this has been said through the movement forever that Italians aren't white. Because Italians are darker skinned, they're from Southern Europe. And the Italians have been taken over so many times by different other ethnic groups, which is true. If you don't believe me, that's why fucking Venice was built. They built that city out in the middle of the ocean because they were tired of being taken over. And they're like, fuck it, you want to come get us? Get your ass out in the middle of the ocean and come get us. We ain't fucking get no more. <laughs> so they were taken over that many times. So it might be true. Italians might not be white. They might not know what they're all the way back to their bloodline. That's why they have darker hair and their kinky hair and all that. So. He keeps saying it, and I got up and I said, yo, dude, I'm half Irish, half Italian, dude, knock the fuck off. And he goes, oh, you're half? I said, yeah, I'm half. He goes, oh, half's okay. So I can be half non white in a white supremacist movement. Okay. So I sit back down, and he kind of shuts up about it, and he says it again. I got up and I said, dude.